uh, plastic ring of radius is 550 centimeter r is equal to 50 centimeter the small two small charged particle are under it okay the particle one value really is 2 micro polo. so 2 into converted into coulomb and another charge q2 is 6 micro coulomb converted into coulomb 10 to the minus 6 coulomb can be moved on a ring particle 2 is moved on the ring okay so whatever this is the both charges produce a electric field at the center point okay the center of the ring at what angle for the particle 2 and move it it is in move the move of body particularly in the angle of the net electric field 2 into 10 power 5 newtons by coulomb r so we need to find this angle. How do you find we have a net electric field? So net electric field is equal to what? x item sorry root of e x squared plus e minus square. So we have a horizontal component vector, vertical component vector, electric field vector conductor. So in the problem formula subject component and the angle conductor because only one unknown is the theta for the charge 2 but theta for the charge 2 is 0 degree ok both are positively charged so electric field caused by the particle one is away from it this is the electric field line caused by the particle one at the center and the electric field line caused by the particle 2 is away from the center this is the electric field line by the charge 2 we need to resolve into two component this is a horizontal component q2 cos theta alpha this is a vertical component e q2 sin theta j both are negative so if you can draw the horizontal component and the vertical component horizontal component for the for particle one is q1 or zero this is minus e q1 cos theta i cap we have the uh, particle one is the vertical component sorry 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 here I am writing the vector horizontal component. Horizontal component for particle 2 cos theta i cap. It is 0 angle, 0 degree. Vertical component is the particle 1 is the particle 2 is the vertical component equal to sin theta j cap. This is the i cap. We need to find the theta. Okay, substitute the values horizontal component net horizontal component net electric field along the x direction is e q1 and a q1 q2 constant per air in the case here q1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 the r square the i cap minus q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square cos theta i cap the direction so net electric field along the y direction is minus q2 sin theta divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square this is a jacket okay Okay, substitute the values into this equation. We need magnitude. We have a magnitude of the net electric field. So, now magnitude of net electric field is equal to root of horizontal component square and vertical component square. Okay, start.
here I'm take out the constants 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 the r square inside q1 minus q2 positive by the whole square then plus square will be minus 1 plus some r1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 the r square the whole square here is a whole square and sin square theta we also have bracket do your mathematics okay here we substitute a minus b the whole square 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 r squared the whole square a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 b plus q2 divided by Square the whole square sine square theta inside the group. Further simplification, how do you solve it? Okay, left hand side e is e, but on the left hand side is quite near left hand side is quite on the right hand side root cancel it. It will be easier to solve it. So, in the term, this is the constant of 1 by 4 by 0 r squared whole squared. This is 1 by 4 by 0 r squared whole squared. So, we have to do r squared. The whole squared is common. Now, we have to do q1 squared plus q2 squared r squared theta to q1 q2. Cos theta here number square control here being square or I forget it square for number the e square two two square sine square theta for the simplification we use the answer one by four pi epsilon zero or square this is epsilon 0 r square the whole square q1 square q2 square cos square theta q2 square the cos square theta and q2 square the common term inside cos square theta plus sin square theta it is going to be 1 so q1 square plus q2 square minus 2 q1 q2 cos theta we need the value of the theta. So, either we'll say that we'll take a lot of rearrange from home. This is going to transform the other one. Either we'll say that we'll take the one square, p2 square, minus 2, p1, p2. Cos theta is equal to e square, 4 pi, region and 0. R squared the whole square. Further simplification minus 2 q1 q2 cos theta is equal to okay. It is in the rearrange by minus plus some other one. You can in the cos theta plus term. Okay, then we replace me. This is going to this side. This is the rearrange me. So 4 q1 q2. Cos theta is equal to q1 square q2 square minus e square 4 pi epsilon 0 the half square the whole square cos theta is equal to this is what we are going to find this equation is important 
நீட் எக்ஸாம் பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் இந்த ஈக்குவேஷனை ஆப்ஷன்ல வச்சு கொஸ்டின் கேட்டேன் இவ்வளோ ஒர்க் இருக்கு Then, where do you substitute the value? We can use the value of the value of the value of the value of the value. Theta is equal to points inverse of these whole terms. Divided by 2Q and Q2. L level is subset for them. Subset for them. Now, I'm going to answer the question. Now, I'm going to give you the value of 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 the value. 2 into 10 for 5. 2 into 10 for 5 the whole square. What is the value of 4 by 8 and 0? 1 by 4 by 8 and 0 is equal to 9 into 10 for 9. 4 by 8 and 0 is equal to 9. 1 by 9 into 10 for 9. R squared will be R into 50. 10 power minus 2 the whole square the whole square divided by 2 in t q and 2 in t q to 6 in t 10 power minus 2 by solving we get that theta is 67.8 degree for positive direction negative direction minus 67.8 degree this is the answer 